Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a huge summer try on misguided haul. A lot of these things are new in. It's very summery. I need to change up my wardrobe and stuff so I thought I would do a huge misguided haul. I've got lots of bits and pieces that I want to show you. Some stuff is casual wear, going out. I've got just a bit of everything sort of so I hope you guys like these. I, I will show you, tell you my thoughts as we go along. Let's go on with the vid. So first off, I have these two items. I might end up standing on my sofa so you can see exactly how um, all the bits and pieces fit on. But um, first of all, I have this bodysuit. It is white uh, ribbed and it has little buttons um, that go halfway up the bodysuit. Not really halfway, more of a quarter. And um, there's four buttons here. I've got undone two because this is how I would probably wear it. I absolutely love this. I think it's really flattering around the chest area. And the only bit that I'm slightly concerned about is the discomfort of the like buttons that are going up underneath the area. It's a little bit uncomfy um, and it's quite tight, but I wouldn't want to get like the size up from this because otherwise it'll be too baggy around here and I want it to be like tight around the chest and the rest of my body. So that's why I'm not too sure on, but I guess I could wear the bodysuit as like a top and just not have it tied up um, down there. So I don't know, but I do really like it. I think it's going to be a staple piece throughout summer. Um, I just need um, some staple pieces in my summer wardrobe because all I have at the minute is jumpers so yeah I feel like I needed this I'm not too sure having my arms out because my arms are one of my biggest insecurities but I'm trying to embrace the body more as you probably will have seen on Instagram if you follow me over there so yeah I'm trying to get my arms out a little bit more of make me feel a little bit more free. I am a size 12, by the way, just to let you guys know. I'll let you know if I had to size up or size down in anything. I got this um, this in a size 12 so that it would fit exactly to my shape and that fits fine, like I said. Then in the skirt below, I sized up because usually on online websites, I have to size up um, because they usually just are not great with sizing, similar to Primark, honestly. I've also got a Primark call coming up very, very soon, and the sizing is ridiculous. Like, I'll tell you all about that story in that video, but yeah, it's just a bit crazy, so I will let you guys know. But usually for bottom half, I always have to size up online because um, nothing fits over my thighs and bum. And then I always have this issue with the waist situation, like quite a lot of people do, I know. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's, oh God, my flies are undone, lovely. It's a like beige color. And let me get on here. It's a denim beige um, midi skirt that has this really big slit down the front. It stays in place, so it's not gonna flash you if you're worried about that, but I absolutely love it. It fits really nicely, like to the body, just how I'd want it to. So I definitely recommend sizing up if you're thinking about this or if you have like slightly bigger hips and thighs and um, in comparison to the rest of your body, I definitely rec recommend sizing up. I'm just a bit worried about this zip situation because sometimes it keeps coming up and down and obviously that's quite frustrating, but I really like this. I like these two pieces together. I actually wore this out today. I have um, my little cardigan that I wear with it. And I think this would look really cute with like a little mini basket bag for the day. I feel like you could even dress this up, up and wear this with like Perspex heels and a small little mini bag for a night out or just for going out for drinks in the evening. Quite like a versatile outfit and very like staple pieces for the warmer months because they're just light and um, will go with a lot of bits and pieces. And yeah, I am really worried that I haven't got enough colour though in my summer wardrobe yet. I wanted to go a little bit out there, that's why I went a bit crazy with my nails. Um, I went with all these different like pink colours um, just to spice up my life because <laughs> I always stick to like creams, monochrome colours. Okay, let's move on to the next outfit. <laughs> For once in this haul I actually bought pieces that would go together. I feel like that's something that I always mess up with when it comes to online shopping. I always just buy loads of, loads of pieces that I like and then nothing actually goes together so it would be pointless keeping the items because I wouldn't be able to wear them with anything else I have, but this time I feel like I have um, improved. Oh God, this situation. Um, I feel like I've improved um, by buying outfits, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that again in the future. I don't know why I'm holding onto my boobs here. <laughs> Next item that I bought, which I thought again would go really nice with this bodysuit and any other like sort of white plain top, um, are these beige colored, well, more stone colored, 
um, sort of utility style short. They have a really cool material belt that goes with it. I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, this sort of material belt that goes really nicely with it, blends in with the whole short. And fit really nicely around my thighs. I find them quite flattering. Um, I'm gonna give you a little view around the edge. I find them quite nicely fitting around the bum area. You can't see through at all, which is great. You can obviously see the lining of my underwear, but not um, through to like what underwear I'm wearing, which is great. I just think these are again really nice. I could wear these out during the day a little bit more casually, or I could get again dress them up with like a really pretty lace bodysuit or something with some like little dainty heels in the evening. Um, I just am really impressed with these. I didn't know whether I'd like them on my body, but I feel like they're really nice. The material is really light and floaty for summer, so thumbs up to these. We'll definitely be keeping them. Um, and yeah, I just don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I definitely recommend it. And when I was showing Megan and Hattie, my housemates, they were saying it's quite nice because I always, like everyone usually goes for like denim shorts in the summer. So it's nice to have a different sort of material that is actually pro probably gonna be nicer to wear in the summer. Right, so the next thing that I have is this linen stone coloured um, shirt and I am obsessed with this. I think it looks so cool with the, the denim skirt that I showed earlier. It's I love it, I love a like all single toned outfit or like very similar toned outfit. I think it looks so cool. Um, this would look so sick with chunky trainers, I feel like. Um, I'm loving the shirt skirt combo. Um, it's really light and airy. I sized up in this shirt because I thought it would feel a lot nicer and I didn't want it to be like clingy, I wanted it to be a little bit baggier. Um, I thought it would look cooler. The buttons are tortoiseshell as well, which I think looks super cool. I love the neckline as well, how it goes really deep. Um, I think that's really nice on the chest. And yeah, I just really like this. I think it will look really good tucked into here or maybe it could be even be dressed up with some um, nice trousers as well, but yeah, I'm really feeling this um, shirt and I definitely will be keeping it keeping it for my summer wardrobe. So next I have this really simple white t-shirt dress. It has this orange print on the front um, with California Malibu underneath. I just thought this was fun and just very chilled, casual summer vibes. Um, T-shirt dresses are probably one of my top things I'd say to get for your summer wardrobe because they're always a must. Um, I just find them super comfortable, like it's literally so relaxing. Like if you feel a little bit self-conscious about being out in a t-shirt dress, you can always whack some cycling shorts underneath or some sort of like hot pants if you're not so comfortable going out like in a t-shirt dress. But I'd usually just stay to your normal size if you're getting an oversized t-shirt dress because they usually come up really well on misguided. So. Yeah, thumbs up to this. I've literally been wearing it non-stop. I literally chill in the house in these as well. When it's all hot during the summer and like even being inside in the UK is just super like muggy and gross. I just find t-shirt dresses are probably the best option to wear um, rather than like t-shirts that cling. Um, yeah, this is just like my go-to fashion piece for me and I definitely will be looking out for more that I like. Just thought this one was a little bit different. I quite like all the fruit on the front of this. Let me know if you guys have any good websites um, that you'd recommend for t-shirt dresses because I love a good t-shirt dress and I know I'm gonna be wearing this all summer long. I, mean, I think this was like super cheap as well. Like Miss Guy just have loads of deals on at the minute. I keep putting loads of deals up for students as well so I definitely recommend keep checking them out if you fancy it. Wow. <laughs> So this next item is probably my most fun from the haul. It is this lilac shell jumpsuit. I absolutely love it. Yeah, super fun. It literally goes right onto my ankles. It's like cuffed. But yeah, anyway, it has this really cool seat belt um, that's silver. I absolutely love this. And then you can obviously adjust it if you want to like cinch in at the waist, which I probably would. You can obviously adjust the zip if you want a bit of cleavage out, if you want to make it more of a night outlook. You could probably wear this with perspex if you're cool enough. I feel like for me this would be a little bit more casual. I'd probably wear some big chunky white trainers with this. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. A little bit out there for me. I probably would feel a bit nervous wearing this out, but I feel like I want to um, give it a go and just go out of my comfort zone. I just realised I haven't even pulled this out so I look like a knob. But yeah, absolutely love this um, and definitely 
want to try this out over summer. It's also waterproof, which is handy because the UK summers are the most unpredictable things in the world. All good. So the next item, these high-waisted shorts. I am so impressed um, because I have been looking for some new shorts that weren't tight fitting. Like I really hate skinny fit shorts at the minute. I really wanted to find some nice like mom style shorts. That I've seen quite a few people wearing at the minute wanted to sort of like scope um, the internet and find like the best fitted fitting ones and I hadn't heard anyone talk about the misguided ones so I thought I'd give it a go and I absolutely love these. I'm gonna wait until they come back in stock in the light blue and black because I might actually have to purchase because I think these are gonna be like an all round um, summer staple. Uh, they fit just really nicely around my entire body. Like they fit nicely at the waist because they come up really high. Um, there's like four buttons here, got some nice pockets at the front and at the back. Um, but yeah, literally, they just come down a little bit um, further than usual short. They have like a lot of space in, if you know what I mean. I'm literally like posing in the most awkward way, but there's like a lot more space. I just hate when it clings to my skin and just it's just very unflattering. Whereas I find these um, look so much better on my figure and um, they look nice with like a baggy top like I'm wearing now. They'll look really nice with a bodysuit in the summer if you wanted to go out for some nice drinks and stuff in the evening. Um, just like a smart casual sort of look. But yeah, I just really am loving these shorts and will definitely be getting them in the light blue and possibly black. Um, sorry about my hair, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? But yeah, big thumbs up. I definitely recommend trying out misguided shorts. I'll leave links to everything down below so you guys can go over and get these pieces for yourself. Right, so the next item is this stone-coloured blazer dress. I absolutely love blazer dresses. I think they are just really nice and flattering. I just quite... I feel quite confident in them, like going on a night out or to an event or something in a blazer dress. I just feel like it fits my finger quite nicely. Um, however, I feel like I sized up in this, or it might have been like my this, the size 14 was the only size in stock. Like I know I wouldn't have fit into like a size 10 and there probably wasn't a size 12. I feel like this is a little bit too big and um, so it's not like clinging to the places as much as I wanted to but I still quite like the whole material belt. I think that's really nice that it like can hug you in. Um, it definitely needs a bit of an iron because it looks a bit crimped and crusty. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely sort that out if I actually went to wear this out. And it's also quite a thick material, so maybe not as summery as I thought this was gonna be. It looked a little bit sort of like a lighter material online and I don't know if it's sort of, I don't know, I just don't, I feel like it looks so much better online than it actually does on me. So I feel like this might be something that I send back. I'll give it a go, might try and wear it or see what I do to style it or make it look better or maybe try and buy the size down. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think, if you think I should keep or send it back because I'm just a bit at the minute. Right, so the next two items I absolutely love. So I have this white satin bodysuit on. It's actually super comfortable, like it, unlike any other bodysuit I've had on before. It's sort of like it's sort of like comfortable underwear, like really loose, baggy, just not so much a thong bodysuit. So yeah, it's super comfy. So I definitely recommend it for the comfort reason. It would probably be a little bit more difficult to take off if you were going on a night out because you have to sort of like pull it on and off and like up. It's just a bit, uh, if you're going on like a night out, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you don't really mind like taking it on and off and on and off. Um, but I absolutely love this. Again, I think this is gonna be a lovely staple piece for um, summer. It's just simple white, has this lovely sheen because of the satin material. I don't know if it would suit me, but I quite like it. It's quite nice and flattering around the chest area. I'm not wearing a bra and I think it looks quite nice. Then I've tied it up here. I probably would tie it so it's like this, but it doesn't feel very secure at the minute. I feel like I need to work on what would look best, but I don't know, I just really like it. I got a size 12 in this, so it fits really nicely. So I definitely recommend going for your size. And then I've paired it with these gorgeous lilac trousers that go down to the floor. I'm gonna try and get on there so without breaking them. But they go right down to my feet, as you might be able to see. So they're like the perfect length. So if you're 5'5 like me, then, 
they fit perfectly and even if you are a little bit taller I think they wouldn't be too much of an issue or even smaller if you decide to wear heels with this which I probably would if I was going on like going out for cocktails with my friends I'd probably wear something like this um, just because I feel like it's quite classy with the like whole trouser vibe and they're like tapered um, and then I also love that it has like a little silver seat belt just loving these little seat belts aren't I I feel like they've made their way into my life quite a bit recently so yeah, it's got a cute little seat belt here with a material belt. Um, and yeah, I just quite like how this outfit turned out. I didn't know if it was going to look very nice on me, but I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. It sort of like fits in the right places and just, yeah, I just feel quite confident in this outfit. So big thumbs up to this one. Right, so this is the last piece that I got from Misguided. Um, it's probably my actually my favourite, so I kind of kept it till last on purpose. But it's this polka dot jumpsuit. Um, again, this goes right down to my feet. It's sort of wide legged, very floaty, really relaxed at the bottom, and then it goes in very tight here. We've got another material belt, um, which you can see up close here. But yeah, it like blends in really nicely, which is perfect because it like gives the illusion that your waist goes in tight naturally. <laughs> Um, if you like that sort of thing and then it's very like gapy and very chilled up here which I quite like I didn't know if it would look very flattering but I quite like how it sits and um, it's not revealing though like it sort of sits at the right places and then stays there it um, half sits up at the back and then we have some lovely crossover detail with the straps there um, I'm a little bit more self-conscious about my back but I feel like I'm just going to give this a go and try and be confident enough to wear this out because um, my back is just not one of my most confident areas of my body so I'm not too sure but yeah I really really like this I think this would look so gorgeous on a night out going out for drinks um, or going out for dinner with your family, friends, date night I just think this is a really lovely piece it just fits very nicely feels super comfortable even though it's got all of this bit going on here obviously you can adjust this to whatever you want so if you've gone out for food you can loosen it a little bit to let yourself breathe but yeah i think this might be my favorite piece and again just very good for summer because it's got that satin light material so you wouldn't get too hot right so the last item i have here um, I sort of was a little bit misled to be honest because I didn't really know how to exactly do this. I'll give it a go. Basically I thought I was going to be getting a whole set of glasses but I was completely wrong um, and actually just got a glasses chain uh, but because the misguided tag is like in the middle of it I can't really like, put them on this pair of glasses to show you guys. Um, but essentially it would just sort of like look like this and I thought I'm not cool enough but this would look cool if I tried to wear these glasses with like a little chain. I thought it would look pretty sick, but I think I'll be sending this back because I thought it actually came with the glasses and I can't really test this out to see if I actually like it because the tag is literally in the center of the product and I can't whack this on my own pair of glasses. So thanks for that misguided. Um, that didn't really work out in my favor, but um, yeah. That's everything I have bought from Misguided recently. Let me know if you enjoyed this haul by hitting the thumbs up and I will definitely be doing more in the future. Um, I have a Primark haul coming very, very soon, so stay tuned. I want to get more fashion content out there as it is coming up to summer now and I love buying like new clothes for my wardrobe and finding good staple pieces that are going to last me for a long period of time. So yeah, let me know what, what sites you guys have been loving or if there are any sites you want me to test out before you buy them yourselves because I will be very happy to do so. Um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye.